Hello and welcome to Hopefully Something Happens. The episode. The oh, big reveal time. <laughs> it's time for Sol to it... lay it all on the line, you know. Oh, Does it strike you as funny that it was like right. the last episode it's almost everyone was just like, all right, next week. This one's just the... the it was the... just, we were on board. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it was... It's... It's like we hit a red How light get away with it? in the road, and it was I mean, like, well... <laughs> it's seriously, the, it's like the riders in the riders room. Okay, the challenge for episode six, how do we keep Sol on his ship, not talking to anybody for a whole episode? <laughs> Thoughts, ideas? <laughs> what if the power goes out? Oh, shit, brilliant. All right, what if the power goes out? Great. That's so good. And they're like, oh, wait, that only buys us like five or ten minutes. Well, what if the comms malfunction as well? Oh, like, you throw yes, that in. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good That'll enough. push us up to that 25-minute runtime. The big box. Yeah, there's some guy taking they notes. And with Azel. Oh, sweet, What if the yeah. button doesn't work? Guy taking notes says, wait, sorry, why did why did the power go out? And then they just all look at him like, huh? Oh. Because it <laughs> broke. Yeah, okay. Because it's it broke, out. that's yeah, why. Yeah, because the power goes out, right? right yeah, of course, 100%. Because, yeah, power go broke. What do we do for our other plot line? Oh, I don't know. Smile around naked. That'll do it. Spend a lot of time on the enemies to lovers trope. Let's do that, please. I don't really know anything specific, but I've seen a couple of pieces of images that I've scrolled by because this episode has gotten people incensed. We're looking at another one where things do happen, but uh, how much things happen will be up for debate. The main thing, because I've been on a couple of shows where they've been like, you know, nothing is to actually be discovered. And I keep saying how evil the Jedi is what's to be discovered. That's the main thing I've always wanted to know throughout this whole fucking season is how evil they're making the Jedi. What will be the nature of the Jedi's failing? Because obviously from the show's perspective, the Jedi will have failed here. But what does that actually mean? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that they really screwed up or is it some bullshit writing that uh, uh, that's well, I am expecting just comical evil from the Jedi who we don't really have much yeah. on. So Indara and like Maybe Kalnaka. Kalnaka. And Torben's not going to and do Torben anything really. that would justify well, his death. He's not going to do anything. I'll agree with Sol that, but it, Tor Tor surely Torben's the one that will make a decision that's going to fuck everything, because he's the one with all the guilt, at least more than everyone. He's yeah. the one who, to, well, who mm. killed himself I just, at I don't think they're going request. to. I don't well, think they will do justice to that guilt, is what I'm trying to get at. I, no, I agree. I think, uh, I think they're not going to do justice to it, but they are going to think that it was the right thing for him right. to do to kill himself. Like, that's, yeah. that's the perspective <laughs> that they're probably going to tackle uh -oh. this from. Uh, like, we, it, it's something that was so bad that Torben sat in silence for 10 years and then killed himself the first opportunity he could, which, if I had to talk to a man, Lestenberg, for that long, I might do the same. But then Kelnaka felt so bad, he went to another planet and made grass stew and jerked off for a couple years. Oh, Soul um, looks like he wants to kill himself all the that, time. Uh... Yeah. El Marco was had he had like illustrations up on his wall that were the same yeah. as the illustrations that the witches had. It had the yin yang symbol there. It's all about balance. Bring uh, yes, yes, he got I obsessed see. with the Ooh, thread. That's, that's he balanced the yeah. thread. Ooh, wow. We all agree that it's basically got to stem from some stupid misunderstanding, right? Yeah, like so the probably. Yeah. Yeah. Jedi and witches kill I each other, so. but it's all going to come down to one. Someone's going to make one mistake for some reason, and it'll all unload because that. And that's, that mistake will be what everyone feel guilt about. In theory, it could be anybody. Well, we have seen a, like, Soul obviously feels really fucking guilty about something. So he's involved in some way. We did see the witches have that power to kind of like, they took over Tor. Been, yeah, you know, and kind of control them for a little bit. In. Maybe mm -hmm. that happens to him. Maybe it happens well, to Kelnaka. Maybe <laughs> it's gonna say, the fight. Who if knows? they mind control Torben to do an action, and that's the action he feels guilty for, it'll be so fucking funny. Like I, I'm not. I wouldn't put it past this show. When the story actually happens like for real instead of just delays constantly then it does have the capacity to just explode. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Which one was the worst for boring? Was it? The previous one, or was it episode four? four? It was episode four or six. Probably. It'd be between one of those. Two. Probably four, because four was boring, boring, but six was kind of funny a little bit. It's like, oh, she looked funny. at his dick, and you know, like that—that yeah. was—that was amusing. But, uh, but I, I think four was the most boring. What I'm looking forward to seeing is if their portrayal of the Jedi being bad only comes down to the individual actors. I don't mean actors as in actors. I mean like agents. The individual right. agents you know, our characters doing something bad personally, or if, uh, and it has nothing to do with the Jedi Order itself. There's nothing that relates to the institution of the Jedi, its teaching, its philosophy, its way of looking at the universe and the Force. I don't think any of that will come into play. It will just be some individuals misunderstanding something or something of that nature. We're not going to get any more real explanation, I don't think, into, or exploration into the way the Jedi look at the Force and their philosophy versus all of the creepy witches and 
in their own. Is oh. this the last episode of the show? No, one more after this. One more after this? Oh, fuck. I thought it was three. <laughs> three. All right, here we two, go. Two, one, go. You're with me. I'm with you. Always one born us two. I'm with you. I want to be a Jedi mama. I do. So funny how consistently people have said the those two characters are just the least interesting thing to even talk about. For both floor and Here, praise. The main characters, yeah. Yes. What happens? If the Jedi discover how you created them. Always makes for a compelling show. <sighs> it's uh, something else. Oh, finally we get the answer of how that thing exploded too. Oh no, May. Oh no, May, you tried to kill me. Because episode three is downright, as we've pointed out, it's just deceptive. They started a fire that killed her entire family. All the stuff that we saw in there in the first flashback, you could already derive from yeah. what they'd been implying throughout the first two episodes. It's showing a bunch of witches died somehow, showing the place collapses somehow, showing the Jedi have done something, we don't know what it is somehow. You know what I mean? It's just like. I've had 16 years to think about what I was say to you. I've been watching Dexter lately and that last, that last sequence of Saul with, with her on the table just <laughs> hey, reminded me of that shit. No Smilo, wow. No, no Smilo. Smilo. Still no Maybe in the very last episode, they'll He's be like, it. It's not like the sink where you can just toss it in. Smile is special. They, they won't show There's his helmet, nice they'll just show his chest. Like, <laughs> in, in the show thing. his dick. His dick. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just be a butt. Oh, is that God. another Brand Stonehenge dog. in space? Oh, here it is. Is it as simple like, as a flashback please be, episode? Please be a full flashback episode. My oh. God. Metal detector? Have you found any? Yeah, found any ports? He's on his old Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Are they looking for Cortosis? Maybe. Moss? <laughs> well, wait. Let's put I guess he wouldn't put moss. moss in there if it was Cortosis. Yeah. <laughs> Are they scanning for metachlorians in the <laughs> with, the, or... with the little metachlorians? Are they looking scan? for? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know I needed this imagery. Why are you not sweeping it back and forth like a normal person? <laughs> you sweep it back and forth. Wookie with, like the metal Wookie with the metal so detector is so funny. Yeah. I guess he's it's nice bored. we get to see slightly more of him. Look, Sol, I'm convinced that this guy over here is not talking. He's just making noises. <laughs> It's they log. look fucking oh, miserable. No, they What's going on? What is the mission? Is this for the grass stew? Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is what Ke no. this is where Kalnaka learned the recipe. You must eat Padawan. I'm not hungry. You're gonna make him mad. I was about to say, yeah. I'm just sick of eating nuna legs. Didn't you bring food with you? Don't you have a ship you can sleep on? And I want to go home to Coruscant. We've been here for seven weeks. Seven weeks! So what is their job? We gotta figure it out, I guess. A hundred years ago, this planet was catalogued as lifeless. Yet Brendok is thriving. Uh, that was in one of the books, uh, right? I think that was in one of the books. Funny I knew what we were doing was somehow important or meaningful. Isn't that yeah. an interesting idea to... I'm sure we won't stick with it. We are looking for a virgins. What's the version? A concentration. Of force energy. We've been here for yep, seven weeks, exactly. and now we are telling you Wait, what so it is you're looking for. They're here to Wait. find whether there's a virgins in the force, or that there was one, and they're trying to see what the nature of it is. Because I'm assuming the virgins they, they've found is not actually the trees and shit. It's it's the sisters. It's the bottomless pit. Sisters. It? It's a power. It should be studied, protected. And so Torben's been here for seven weeks and is just now learning what it is they're there to look for. Yeah, that's retarded as fuck. Mm -hmm. This is a noble mission. Noble mission. I don't know why he hasn't found meaning in the mission, considering this would be of high value to the Jedi Order as a exploration. It sounds like it, yeah. It was disturbed, unbalanced. You were disturbed. Sounds why like wouldn't they send like also, scientists? They seem under equipped and yeah, yeah ill suited. Just find, so Torbin is like bored. I don't know. It's okay. It's teenage angst. Yeah, but that's just of all the things yeah. to establish for us, and we're already running out of time. <laughs> like, that's how these episodes work. Do not confuse Torben's feelings with your own. Okay, you made it about me. I was talking about him, but that's fine. I do not tell him answers to ease his mind. Man, the exposition is so yeah, monkey. It's... I teach him to seek the answers for himself. That's why I have a Padawan, and you do not. He's going to have his first Padawan at the end of this, uh planet encounter a i think she was trying to say i don't like tell him all the answers to himself like i let him seek it out or something and she was criticizing Isn't him for just... doing that i got but that's the, the only thing i can like, pull from that, that conversation but... that just sounds like a form of teaching not that you wouldn't teach it and all. also yeah and i don't know what soul's disagreement is actually maybe his his feeling is that you should actually like tell him what you think maybe <laughs> Abunta tree. 
Oh god, oh. we really are doing. Those, and here we go. Oh, it's going to be the whole episode because we we've barely gotten <laughs> yeah. past the intro. Oh, oh, oh she, the whole episode. Oh she, I'm here. Do you hear me? Oh hey man. Soul, kill them. Soul, quickly. <laughs> Change the timeline. Save Soul. the universe suffering and just kill the, them now. The do Breaking it. Bad means so. Yeah, too dangerous to be left alive. Soul, kill them now. Why do you always have to do things like that? Why do you always run off alone? Good thing. Now, what are the odds of this encounter? I yeah. know, right? Actually, cool random. Thing. It's just he just went out for a wander, and there they are. That's fantastic. Yep, good to know. You're with me. I'm with to be fair, it but... is only a, it's a planet. They're not very big on Star Wars universe. They're usually like the size of a forest no, or a town. Star Wars planets are about like a maybe three acre area. Unless you're Tatooine, where it's like three times. Oh, so that. she did just appear from behind a tree. She, <laughs> she was hiding that. behind a tree. Oh, no, she really I'm... was hiding behind a yeah. tree. <laughs> yeah, we know, we could actually it's confirm. Soul is for sure invisible right now. When they were filming it, she would have stood behind there waiting, and then they just gave her a cue. Like that's so. <laughs> daughter, can you read me? Imagine if the pitch for this show is like, hey, episode three, everyone's going to fucking despise it. They're going to hate everything about it, but don't worry. Four episodes later, we're going to do the exact we're same thing, just again. with another camera angle. Episode three, <laughs> two. <laughs> like, so, they, no. so they really didn't think that there were, like, sentient life forms here. No, apparently not. So they weren't lying when they said that's fucking crazy. You think they could... Like find that Surely out. Surely they could scan it. And you can. You can. Did they not see the structure? So they have this a, was a like planet. The beginning yeah. of a new hope established this shit. A planet with this forest life not growing. Exactly small. But then there's also this well, huge also, structure. Looks interesting. Maybe we should check that out. Well, consider that their mission is to come here and look for virgences that create life, and they didn't bring a life form scanner. They brought a metal detector. What the fuck you want? Yeah, come on, right? That's uh, true. It, it's the it's budget oh, cuts. Like, you this, know, this is clear Does the evidence metal detector just of detect virgences of advanced life on the planet. If they'd seen this from their ship, which they absolutely would have, it's a big mountain peak. It's enormous. It's Remember what, what the structure is, looks like? Yeah, this is a it's huge. Dark Souls looking this, at structure. Yeah, this is like. not a fucking naturally occurring structure. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna jump. Holy away. shit! Oh, he'll be. Are he'll you make. Um, you'll make the noise that made her distracted. If you remember, he's gonna. He's gonna oh no! And the, and they're oh, like, shit. aha, clever. Why wow. wouldn't he yeah. go back and get the others before exploring on his own? Oh, the veritable mountaineer. Oh, oh shit! Okay, now he sees them for abusing the children. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. That is what happened. She just threw them to the ground. Yeah, I think, Rags, you even noted, like, they could have hit their head on the step when she pushes them back. She actually could have hit yeah. them significantly, but eh, it's fine. They let that, that would have, That would have saved the show. Oh, look, they've connected it up. Oh. Look, someone this opened a the door or... They are so impressed with themselves. This is embarrassing. Oh, not the bottomless pit. This is such no, incredible yeah. storytelling. <laughs> I love the bottomless oh. pit. I think it's my favorite pit. It's the Virgin. That's what it is. A force called here. I think they are witches. Night sisters. Is the spooky force pit like the spooky force pit in TLJ? Is that what they go for? Remember the spooky force pit that Ray gets eaten by? Oh yeah. Maybe. Night sisters don't raise younglings, let alone train them. They do not treat the girls like children. They probably eat them. I, I was actually gonna say this is kind of funny because it's like, what, what if they sacrifice them to their creepy mood god? The witches prepare for a ceremony tonight. What if the girls are in danger? I, yeah, I like how like you throw them in the vague. bottomless pit because that's the only thing you do I with bottomless pits is you throw people um, into it. Can you not directly so, contact the council right now? Go go go! Yeah, sort of surely thing. they can. Also, I suppose I just find it fascinating because they're, they're being like, ah, see how oh, POV like can lead them astray. And it's like, dude, I mean, kill Naka, slice the controls. <laughs> Like, Soul's concerns seem fairly valid well, to so me, but... Now, because you know. they're, they're about to slice in, right? So this is somewhat... Have they knocked? I guess Why not. didn't they knock on the door and say, Hi. Hi, we're friendly Jedi. Instead of slicing Hi. and going, Sorry, we thought no one was here. Hi there, we're from the Galactic Council. We're investigating what we call a vergence. We didn't expect to see people well, just, alive here. They Can are operating as uh, child services at this point. We should go as a team. We must be vigilant. All right, in we go. Man, we're taking a while to do anything, aren't we? Yeah, well, you got to wait. Ten minutes time. already. They got to make this. We're, we're doing. It's going to be the thing, isn't oh, it? Where an extended God. period of nothing, and then loads of things all at once. They'll just slowly walk around. We got a different well, angle this time. Like... Last like thirty seconds. 
Oh, they're fucking bows. They have bows. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> the space bows, because they glows. Hey, guys. You're, you're close, guys. And did, they, did you guys, huh? like, form up in a line for us? These are my colleagues, Soul Kelnaka. She says you're Kelnaka. 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 We thought this planet was uninhabited. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. I like how, see, it, why, why did they take that? Why did they show that hand yep. Believe. Wait, she started fucking with him. Oh, wow. Before she they started even... messing with him well before. She was fucking with his mind while she was before agreeing for them to anything. see the, yeah. the kids. I mm -hmm. thought the way they portrayed it in him. episode three is that she got annoyed that Soul and Osha were connecting. Torben. <sighs> Jedi Padawan. But now it's just that she was being an asshole really early. Wow. You've traveled so far only to become trapped on this planet. You are a strong, good Jedi. What are you? Why, this she's, planet, this right? is villain shit. This is villain shit. She's yes. taunting a teenager. Get the fuck out of my mind. You are mind. not invited. Yeah, you put me in a dark and spooky mind palace where you're clearly trying to be a dick. Don't touch me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Do you wish to escape this planet? Do you wish to escape this planet? Escape the well, planet? He's not gonna be here for that the planet. long. We're on we're like on a mission. I'm mildly annoyed to be here. I can help you. Oh sure. I'm, I mean, yeah, we, we you know, we, we're gonna head back eventually, it's fine. You wish to return to Coruscant. Your master denies you. This is quite an overreach there. They're talking to me in my mind. Yeah. If Anna Say is so worried about what the Jedi might do, why is she provoking so hard? Antagonizing. Yeah. I would not keep you from what you want. I would always let you have what you need. And why isn't Torbid going, hey, she's talking to me in my mind. She's trying to she, creep me well, out. She's trying to he, dark side him. Yeah. Just, yeah. She's trying to dark side me. Him. This is like word for word dark side. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. He would just be like, hey, she was trying to manipulate me. She was being an she's, evil. She's literally like, you have Wait, desires, I can give episode. them to you. She's empering him. So the goal of this episode is to be like, yeah, NSA is evil. Ask me. Ask, Ask me. Ask me. Look at this. What is, is this? She's making him cry. Yeah, this, why are you crying? Well, who knows how it feels, I guess. We're seeing this, but maybe maybe it's like your brain's getting torn. Neil. Oh, what the fuck? She's the emperor. <laughs> How is this okay? Say it again, like we said in episode three. That would have been cause to attack, by the way. I would have sliced her head off right yeah. here. I would have been like, no, we're not playing this game. You have no idea if she can just like instantly just like make Kill his him. brain explode. Yeah. If you want your part of one return to his right mind, I suggest you all leave. Now. Well, and she does threaten the him, right? She's like, his mind will be returned to normal, whatever. You cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. With your permission, of course. The fact that she started that same doing it fucking the second line. That they showed up. <laughs> That's crazy. It, it's amazing getting to see all these lines we fucking laughed at three episodes ago <laughs> come right back around. Like, holy shit. Well, it's crazy because this has only made the Jedi look better so far. Pretty much. <sighs> like, sure, they're kind of silly, Are you but... okay, Torben, my Padawan? Well, it's, it's mainly that they're making dumb mistakes, but, like, in general. <laughs> yeah. So, Torben, what happened? It's like, oh, she just fucked with my mind, with the dark side. Told me that I, I should just pursue my, you know, desires. Not, 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 not even like, hey, I'll give you a blowjob. Like, hey, you can go back to Coruscant two weeks <laughs> you earlier. Go I back to Coruscant, okay. It's not a particularly interesting desire. I feel a connection to Osha. I feel she's meant to be my pod one. He's been camping for seven weeks on an important mission, and he's like crying because he wants to go home. That's what a crazy. little bitch. Yeah. What a pussy. They did not do it. Yeah, no, no, no wonder he fucking killed Why wouldn't himself. They have... All he needs to do is establish he has family on Carson, and that's a problem that Indaris had to be dealing with his his you know attachment, and he wants to be with them or something, something like that. That's much more Star Wars. Her covenant will never let her leave. They mocked her sister with dark magic. He just said dark magic in Star Wars. Yeah, that's dark a bit. magic. It really is something that I don't like, is is introducing, like, outright magic into Star it's Wars. It's too mystical, like, you know? Force is magical, sure, but, like, not like witches and stuff. I, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a different vibe. They keep it's doing totally it, and they need to flavor. stop doing it. But Oja did not have one. I worry she's not safe. The reality is it's just, like, a different way to use the Force, and so it's annoying to hear them say something like that. That's true. She may have resisted being marked. Uh, who is protecting this child if not the Jedi? Because the threat is just the Force. 
You know what I mean? No, I, I get just, that. Yeah, it's, it, it's, oh, it, it's dumb to, yeah. I believe she wants to leave with us. Do not confuse what Osha wants with what you want. It felt like Sol there made arguments that Indara agreed with, and then she cut him off with the, you're being too emotionalisms. I, I kind of yep. that just felt unfair. <laughs> like, you know. Has I mean, anyone I mean, said anything to Torben, by the way? Like, no, <laughs> we, we have no, sure he's okay. Did, did you see that? We cut he to after there. Yeah. if they had a conversation. But if they did, he would have told them enough for them to conclude it's dark side shit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's not even a hesitation, I don't think, from how he would describe that experience that the Jedi would conclude they're dark siders. This won't take long, mate. I'm not going to hurt you. Ah, uh, here's May's test. You said you weren't going to hurt me, and then you did. <laughs> yeah, fucking liar. Way to Put build a hole trust. In me. Can't believe the the cult agreed to this. I don't feel like it's in their character at all, this uh, this oh. test sequence. Especially when oh, they yeah, needed to give permission. Now. Especially because Anasea was the one who was, like, fucking with Torben from the, like, the moment they walked yeah. in. Yeah. You must divine what images appear on the testing screen. What do you want me to do? Wait, I was telling you yeah. what... Yeah. And then you interrupted by asking what you should do, and I was telling you what you should do, you fucking rude cunt. A spaceship. A castle. They're answering so confidently when a good lie would just be, how am I going to know what's on there? And it's like, use the force. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll try, I guess. What was everyone doing in the courtyard? Is your marking a part of ascension? And by ascension, we mean jumping <laughs> into the going to volunteer that information? All right. This is starting to get, like... Dude, we're halfway through and they've given us barely anything. Everyone must be sacrificed to fulfill their destiny. Why what? is she volunteering all this? What? 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 Oh, you're and coming with us. What? Yeah, Everyone what? must be... Like, that, what does that mean, child? That's a really bad line. Is it like, we should be very concerned you know for the children's means? lives. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, you're not going back. You're you are leaving. <laughs> yep, obviously. I would like to try a different approach with the other child. You must have the courage to tell the truth. That time code just slipping away. It's 19 <laughs> minutes in, jeez. I like how the test only lasts a minute. It's like t 10 seconds and then, okay, see ya, bye. You can leave. They gotta go through, there's a lot of candidates. They gotta, they gotta speed through the process, you know? You should run the girls' blood samples. I've contacted council for instruction. Is the test just to see whether or not they have the capacity to use the force? Because they do the blood test for the midichlorians, which would be a more objective, like... There is a high concentration. I don't, I don't know what this test is even really testing for. Is it reading the feelings of the person who is looking at the image? If you can get a feeling for what the person is looking at, just instinctively, you know what I mean? Osha passed. I will meet you at the camp when I hear their answer. Yeah, because I mean, using it the force to identify what's on a screen seems a bit correct. Odd. Yeah, like, the yeah. test shouldn't yeah. require such specificity. Then I guess you know, untrained force use, just telling them exactly what another person is like feeling based on a thing that they're seeing. The council said no. They will not sanction bringing the twins to Coruscant or separating them from their coven. Well, that's one of the most like uh, instinctual things, right? Just sensing everyone's feelings around you. Not like maybe an active look, use of the force, right? Go like ahead. Maybe they should be looking at an image that ev evokes an emotion or a feeling, and then they have to find out what that emotion or feeling is. And the picture is just to prompt the person looking at it to think of a particular feeling. You say that we have interfered too much already. Will they let us come home at least? No. Yeah. Okay, so the Jedi Council have denied them doing this. They're not gonna let them take uh, the twins. Have they told them about all of the dark force shit they're doing? I mean, I presume it's also, they've had- It's also uh, not part of the Republic. But those are passed. After you coached her. So she passed. Wait, what? Coached her to not lie? You coached her to not lie so that she ended up passing the test? Do not alter this little girl's destiny because you have formed an emotional attachment to that her. That is not what's happening here. I want to do what's best for Osha. You don't get to decide that. Isn't that what Jedi decide all the time across the galaxy? I'm confused. I don't understand. That feels like a weird line from Indara that, you know, it's not up to us what's best for these people. Especially if it involves Extremely the potential for them being hurt. The symbionts are the same. Our identical twins would have different symbionts. This is impossible without some kind of manipulation. So that'll be the, the clue then that they've been created. Yeah. Maybe by tapping into a power dense enough to split one consciousness into two bodies? That's some dark side shit. It is the bottomless pit. The Vergence is the bottomless pit, isn't it? 
Hmm. Show me. Probably. Why yeah. not? Jump in. We just need proof of a virgins, and those girls are the proof. This is our ticket home! So you're just gonna get on your speeder and grab it? What? Oh, so their logic what? is that he This is only, our ticket home! He only wants to go home, and that's why he's doing it, not because he what actually- What a fucking- like, You are joking, are you right? <clears throat> Let's go kidnap them so we can go home. If they needed to stop him, couldn't they have just used the force there? Like, they were like- exactly. He was like, no, stop! He's like, just pull him back. So all of these Jedi cannot return to Coruscant until they get evidence that there's a convergence or a virgence? He's Again, saying if he gets them. that evidence, that's proof, and then... And they can go home. It would be such a better motivation oh. if he felt what they did to him and is like, this is really dark and fucked up for them to do this to these girls. I'm going to go save them. That like, would be that's way better, That's such yeah. a better motivation be than, I'm ready to but go then, home. Like, that's why but then we'd have to explore the Jedi, motivation. and we can't do that. So They've given him this motivation so that it's they haven't even. Defense. Why does he want to go home so much? Is it as simple as, I just like my home? You're like, okay. That's it. I think so. so. He just doesn't like camping? It's the obvious I things that he he's with got attachments to the people his... in Coruscant. Just make it that and way. Also, like, d does Torben expect that there will be no consequences for this? He can you just know, go like, in and be... do whatever he wants, apparently, yeah. And the Jedi won't care. They'll just be like, oh, well, you know, whatever. You want to stop Osha from leaving? Then stop her. Wait, what? What? Oh, shit. God, the horn lady's so cringy. Yep. Good girl. Get mad. Yeah, certainly not Sith. Oh, dark side. So she's oh, yeah, she, this is dark side shit. She's just telling her to be mad. She doesn't, she doesn't like mind controlling her or anything. She's gonna go burn the door now, right? You may be their mother, but you are also our leader. Right now, I choose mother. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't get to choose. That's the whole point of the... It's hard for me to view you in any positive sense after knowing that you were just mentally well, torturing Tolkien, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did they want her to do that? What? Oh. Like, no one can get in or out! Just like that? <laughs> no, we can just move it. Arm yourselves! What the fuck? What? Wait, that was what something the fuck they- is hap What's happening? What? So, oh, so they wanted to do that. What is fucking thing ever? They wanted the child to destroy the console. Why didn't they just I... fucking shut the door down or whatever? Off, yeah. I think they've locked the girls inside. The elevator's been disabled. We're stuck here now. Follow me. Okay, Sol is, he has been like totally doing the right thing basically the whole time. He's just now foreseen yep. that Osha's about to get burned and now he's going in to help. Is that insane that he managed to read that from all the people in this that temple? Was, that was a great action. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. For him to have almost no interaction with these girls and be able to feel that, yes. Considering the is writing she... has decided that he has a connection with Osha. So are yeah. we actually what? to conclude that, that like May was just insane and just there was no mind control at all. She actually did this. She's Looks just like an it. evil she piece of shit. Just be completely nuts. Yeah. She was told Jeez. go be angry, and so she did it. That's it. And That's the mystery. Osha. Thought she'd be mind controlled, is, but she was just yeah. being a brat. She's just an evil psycho child from like a, a horror movie. Go. We must stop him before he starts a conflict. Go. What nonsense! The great this flying is. metal bird. We've this got is. like three major characteristic like reasons for causing the trouble that's happening right now that are awful. Wow. We're like gradually entering to the point where we're having a war for no reason at all. I told you we cannot use violence. I would die before I let the Jedi take my children. Please don't You're make that evil. decision for the rest of us, please. It's also funny for leader lady to say, oh, you can't use violence, but you can use mental torture. <laughs> I think yeah, you can nice. invade someone's you... mind and. Okay, did so you, they're implying that was a mistake. Yeah, so. the, did you see the way they did yeah. that? She was like, I'll oh, set it on yeah. fire. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Nah, come on. Yeah. That was so crap. Uh, why is the looking. fire developing? Why is it burning? Off of what? What's it eating? It's the all the stone. stone and the, oh, stone. some wires there. Now they're on fire. Oh, GG. Oh, she did start the fire then. No fucking way this fire blows up the whole place, though. There's no way. No, I... I I wonder. No, I mean so, like yeah, it's, I it's not physically possible, but it's it's not out of the realm of. I think the reason why they were showing the wires on fire was to indicate that it's causing a chain reaction. And remember that she also locked the door so they couldn't even get out anyway by bashing the I elevator. I mean, so panels. May is still on the hook. Hardcore. He's not Why is so walking so weird? He is what walking is odd. I noticed that too. He's, he's walking like he just shit his pants. <laughs> it was foolish to come back here, Jedi. You're like a dark sider, doing dark side things, evilness, sacrificing people. You wish to know if we will allow Osha to join you, to be raised by an institution instead of a family. An institution instead of a family. You guys yes. are you're an a institution, cult. just an evil one. You see how this kid is afraid of you because you fucked with his mind? You think you're the good guy? The arrows just have red lights at the end. Of course they do. Someday those noble intentions you all have will destroy every Jedi in the galaxy. Oh, shut wow. up. Oh, what, is that even, what are you even saying? Mama, help! 
Oh, shit. He said there's uh, a fire. Um... What? I... What? 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 what is that power? What? 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 Kill it with fire! What, what the fuck this? is this? What the? Good thinking, Soul. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank God. You Thank God you stopped her. I don't know what yeah. she was about to Thank do. Thank God. You have no idea what Kill that, was. that evil witch. She was about to fucking. It looked like she was disintegrating. She uh, went to like me. I was going to let. Oh, that has nothing to do with this, what just happened there. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have threatened you, everybody with you your spooky magical powers me. there. You turned you super evil. Like she had like spiky teeth, teeth and then she mind turned controlled into, like, a Tobin earlier. There's no reason to think yeah. that wasn't going to be an offensive move. Exactly. That's what that's what happens. Very intelligent decision. I'm that's like very quickly right grabbing your wallet when a yeah, police officer's got a gun on you. What the fuck are you doing? Bear in mind that Horn Lady was the one preparing to attack first. Yeah, she definitely made the first move, and Horn Lady didn't do anything when he stabbed her. I think that's out of character. Character. Nice bows, idiots. Look at him nice go. Nice fucking bows. Soul, you, um, you are within your right to actually defend well, yourself well, here. Not only is he within his right, he's obligated because Tor Torbin needs his help. Ow. He shouldn't have to be defending himself from fucking ten archers. Yeah, yeah. Just, you push, give him them, a hand? just oh, push them down with the force. Use your oh, force and push Soul, them down. Soul, just fucking kill this crazy lady. Fight me! Dude, the... <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> sighed from cringe. Oh, fuck off, Just woman. Just pull it away from her with the force. Oh uh, my god, so it, it, it is legitimately May doing that. Because yeah. we've You drop for... a lamp in that building and it yeah. explodes. Yep. This is insane. I this can't is, believe they've written it this, this way. This is so fucking uh -huh. bad, dude. Ooh, we gonna reveal? You a Sith? Is that what's gonna happen? You gonna do something? Uh, what? <laughs> well, I can just what? stab you, right? Since... She's gonna go in the hole! She's gonna go in the hole! <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've all gone. Are they gonna- Oh, are they gonna Voltron into one oh, big Oh, one cloud? big lesbian. Hey, Ooh, yes, one big evil lesbian cloud. You should not have brought him here. My mind is fortified. Fortify your mind! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're possessing what? Keldaka? What? <laughs> what? The what? Kill them all! What, what the fuck? These, they no, need this... to die. They need to all this is be such killed. A, this is very strict... morally ambiguous, you know? Yeah, this is an evil cult, dude. <laughs> you like how he overswung over Soul into Torbin's lightsaber? I like that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, is this, so... this is meant to be the episode that makes the Jedi the bad guys. Apparently. <laughs> crazy. Has a Jedi made a mistake yet? Other than, I guess, not killing they've Horn Lady? They've made tactical blunders, but I mean, otherwise, they've been basically yeah. in the right I'm not, the I guess, morally is what I mean. Corbin's should be dead. Okay, you just dead. don't want to kill him? But you do want to oh, kill him. No, 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 no. Oh, that wouldn't dude. happen. Keldark is going to have way more pressure. Have the, he doesn't have the leverage. He doesn't no, have the no leverage. leverage. Yeah. He's dead. The amount of trauma that they've inflicted okay, Sol, on where have you been? I'm you, probably... you could do anything. You could... Oh my god. I, I, this is terrible. Like I would have chopped off Keldark's head at this Kylo's point. Why is theme here? <laughs> You could have I just chopped the lightsaber into. Yeah. That's true. You, you could have yeah. done a million you things. Done that. Yeah, you could have just chopped the lightsaber was, in half. Are you that actually fist fighting a fucking Wookiee? Are you kidding me? That's not going to go too well for you. You lose every time. Yeah. Yeah. You got <laughs> to use the force. Dude. And you you the die quite... force. Yeah, he should be using the force. Quite, That's quite his only quickly. option right now. <laughs> how is this? How are you alive? Do they not know what a Wookiee is? The people who make this. Okay. You have force anti mind control. Yeah, she's just gonna get him. Trying, out to, of there. trying to calm, calm his mind. I yeah. guess they've discovered evil witches. Yeah, that's... Oh, is it gonna kill him? It's gonna kill all of them or something. It's gonna like. Oh, backfire? it is, isn't it? God. Wait, Indara killed them all? <laughs> Ace. Let's go. Good job, Indara. That's... Indara, best character. Can I just say that's kind of amazing? Are they actually dead, dead or do they the just? Well, because... We can only just hope, Ryan. Out. We can only hope. Because, because there's no markings on them, right? So that would make sense. As in, like, it matches up visually. Get the twins. May actually started May actually the destroyed it all. That's so place. funny. You dropped a lamp and this is what happened? You're, you're dead, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I'm sorry, you're dead. You, you should think about building your next fortress out of something <laughs> non-flammable, like stone. What have you done? They're all dead. Oh, they are dead. Indar are killed the ball to oh, save yep. Keldaka. That's kind of awesome. Base! Yeah. 
Oh, oh okay. So now you can use the force. We'll now just grab them. Grab them. Yeah, you can just grab, grab the two kids. Save one. What are you kids doing? Just grab Retards? them. He keeps Run trying to hold. Back. He's holding the bridge. Just grab them. Pull them to you. Go. He's gonna choose you one. To choose, you didn't basically. need to do that. You, that was not necessary. Also, what a fucking coincidence that both sides of the bridge were falling like that. You know, the exact same time in the same yeah, way. Yeah. So he could have saved them both, but he just didn't. Okay. If you've got yeah, the power to hold up both up bridges, you had the power to hold the two girls. Pull the kids. Yeah. yeah. Do they not understand how the force works? Evidently. I got you. I thought that was the end for a second. I was like, my God. Yeah, there's Kill no Marco, God you've been having a really bad day, haven't you? He does, it depends on what he remembers, because like, there's nothing he could do. No, but, I mean? but it would still be traumatic. Unless he's that I... kind of person. There's nothing for him to feel guilty about, is what I'm saying. No, no, no. I'm just saying that the complete loss of control of himself yeah, yeah. has got to be something that makes it. And of course, Torben's had a horrible day. But Torben shouldn't want to kill himself. Like, they're well, evil. They were really fucking Torben evil. Torben was absolutely the victim of this situation. Yeah, it's so weird to have shown us that it, she fucked with his mind before all the decisions he made. Master! Oh, look at him acting. Look at them both trying to do an act. That's probably the only They're good thing in the whole episode. Witches. What will we tell the council? Oh, here's the yep. cover up. I don't even see why there would need to be a cover up. Yeah, why would they? You don't have to lie. They don't, they don't need tell, to lie at all. Just accurately describe the events. And you're good. They told us they well, sacrificed children. We had very good reason to think the kid was going to die. We went in and we got attacked. May burned down the witch's fortress and everyone was lost. I must face the council. Face the council for what? Why would you do that to her? She's going to protect him, yeah. But from what? You take away her dream as well. We freed her from the what evil did, cult. What did Sol... Sol didn't do anything wrong. Mission successful. Did like, out the XP and let's level he, up. When he stabbed Anna Sayers, because she turned into a giant evil demon. And they made like her look evil like on purpose. It looked yeah, what, like she was you, like, Do the show Runners actually think that we should just wait to see what his spell is before we can judge, especially in the Star Wars universe. Well, they, they've already they, they gave us precedence. The she already cast a spell on one of their team yes, members exactly. that fucking tortured him. Like what? What the and fuck? Bear in mind that this was initiated after Spiky Lady prepared to attack first. May was disintegrating, and Soul thought that was Osha as well. Before you throw yourself at the mercy of the Council, ask yourself why. You made this choice. I don't I don't take any issue with his choice. I think that's a totally well, fair, it, rational just, choice. Think about the way that it all began. The first thing that Sol saw was Leader Lady pushing them to the ground. So already, oh shit, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then finding How out does... that they're doing all of this crazy stuff with the force, the fact that they're using mental manipulation that's... on their fellow Jedi. Hold on, I've heard about this so... credit scene. Listen. <laughs> They have a song, like a song that they made for this fucking series in these oh outro Oh my cards. god. Oh no. Wait, 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 let, me, let me listen. And I think it's gonna be the good part. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, this is a, that's not, you. no, 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 no. You've broken a rule. You don't do this with Star Wars. Big skin, big no, 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 no. <laughs> this is, no. Oh, this is no, so fucking cringe. No, no. Oh, it's so embarrassing. Stop. And we so one in the same, so all my pain is your pain. This song is apparently called The Power of Two. No. Oh. <laughs> that you could wear and take off, that you could rip and break off. Ooh. She's Why cleverly I... rhyming off with off. That, ooh, I am that's taking really good. psychic damage. Ow. <laughs> this is like a Batwoman Bro. song. I feel the shame. It is, is like, it is like a Batwoman Man credit song. song, yes. What the hell? <laughs> You've breached a cardinal rule of this a This is a Star real Wars. thing in the end of a I real like episode of a Star Wars Ew. TV show that yeah. is real. I am willing to entertain this is the worst episode. This is the worst episode. I think so. Yep. Holy they, fuck. They've ruined everything they possibly could about Star Wars. Now it's got to be the fucking credits. I will it's not have no Headland's <laughs> name's laddered everywhere. You got to listen to this now. God. I am actually oh, no. baffled by how they fumbled on making the witches more redeemable. I'm yes. surprised. They made them so evil. Like, even if you're going to go the direction of let people do their own thing with the Force, I actually think that it would be totally easy to portray and that you could make the Jedi overstep. Yeah. They didn't overstep. Don't portray the people who just want to be left alone as evil exactly. psycho cultists. Exactly that. Dark side <laughs> and control. That's all you had to do was not make them evil. A core characteristic that was so important to make everything happen was Torben being like, I'm a bit bored. We go home. That was like yeah, important that to the motivation. Plot. Also, so silly. I'm feeling kind of vindicated because I Torben. What did he do that put him in a state of being vow of silence and suicide? I don't know. Because uh, the, the, the thing is, he didn't even do anything. there is one aspect and that let's... they could have used, which is that he rushed off. But the thing is, Soul caught is, up it... with him and then told well, him to do stuff. And, and in mind, mm -hmm. on top of 
that is she had manipulated him by directly tapping yes. into that fear. Exactly. So what is Corbin's state of that. mind now? It, Corbin was no manipulated idea. by the like, dark Corbin side. Was, like, yeah. And then he was ordered by, by the light side. He's got like barely any response. All he did was dodge a bunch of arrows. That's really all he Pretty actually much. did. Like, and he well, suffered immensely. They could have done one change to like Torben and made it like make a little bit more sense. If it was that he was bored of being there, not because he was homesick, but because he wants to go be a hero or something. Like if he had these like delusions of grandeur, yeah. like that's that what he wanted, he wanted to save someone. Like if that was his little plot point, that would make a lot oh, more yeah. sense maybe yeah. why someone could feel potentially guilty. Change it just a little bit to where Torben came from an abusive past and the Jedi saved him. So he feels like he needs to do the same for Osha and maybe he gets a bit overzealous and that leads to some sort of misunderstanding or something else when he goes with Soul. What they did was ridiculous. If they wanted to make time for that plot point, we really would have missed out on a Wookiee carrying a metal detector. So I don't know. <laughs> it's more important. <laughs> the way they spent their time in this episode, it is so consistent in the whole season. They are moronic. They don't know what they need to do to set things up. Instead, they just waste their fucking time and then they machine gun out a whole bunch of fucking shit. We're sitting here like, what the hell was that? Did she turn into a giant demon monster? And the, the show was like, no, she was doing good things. They built up a whole bunch about, oh, they lied. And it's like, okay, so what we saw happen was that Sol was willingly going to fall on the sword and Indara said, well, it's not going to achieve anything other than make Osha more upset so you shouldn't do it. He wasn't even trying to like cover up so that he could not be punished. Not very Jedi of her, by the way, when she's supposed to be the most Jedi of all the Jedi here. But maybe they're like, ah, see, not very Jedi of her, huh? Well, so that it's the one part think. of the episode I liked was that she's annoyed and aggressively trying to explain what their plan should be, and then she sees that Soul is like actually destroyed by this whole event and seems to actually recognize that that's something she should account for. Recognizing that even a Jedi who's not supposed to be emotional simply is that you should probably account hmm. for that and so it looked like that's like the one that, interaction yeah. in the whole episode where i was like oh that's kind of nice <laughs> remember in our uh, episode three that may woke up near the the bunta tree yeah. so maybe there'll be more still to be revealed on that for them trying to get a season two well so Since horn it to me like there's way too much to be resolved in an episode horn lady does do a little fade out like it, it seems like she does it individually i don't know if that's sort of a that clue that she she'll, she'll come back around. yeah are they like teleporting or something like, I, don't, I don't do i don't begin. I don't know what fucking... it's kind of like uh you know in the death eaters or like yeah. dude, flying around in harry potter God, it's kind of like Fuck. I think she's the prime candidate for the the other Sith Lord of the season. The actual Sith Lord. That makes now sense. Now that we didn't see a, like a death for her. Yeah, exactly. I, I really <sighs> am still like surprised by how much they failed to, to yeah. tear down the Jedi. But let's be 100% clear on the primary event of the whole episode you have. May rushes in and says, help me, because she's set the whole fucking facility on fire like a moron. And then Sol because thinks Because she was told Osha. by Horn Lady to get angry. Yes, that's true. That's, that's definitely something that's worth putting in too, because this is so the way which is false. Soul says, Osha. And for some reason, that makes Horn Lady think time to attack. And so Torbin's response is time to defend. And then Anasea does the... She looks horrifying, by the way. Spooky evil. She does. She, she's she got, like, the sharp teeth and her fucking eyes turn. Her, her like, mouth hollow. extends. And, 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 and no, Anasea, she looks like the, all, the mummy when he's sand. Yeah. All Anasea had to do was say, was yell stop. Yell yeah. stop, everybody. Get people's over. attention. Be like, you're you're free to go. Or like, wh whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ. Well, and so, as we said, she think Soul is going to think after seeing that? I know, with every variable like, available, this is one of those, like, you have to make a decision, you could be right, you could be wrong, but the, if it were taken to any kind of reasonable court, I think Soul did, he would argue, I felt my life was in danger and I felt I was protecting the people around me. This would be like pulling out a gun and aiming it at a child, and then being like, oh, I can't believe you stabbed me, these are full of healing bullets. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, that's basically what it is. Yeah. These and so are the bullets idea that, that he's, make you happy. he's guilty about this choice, to me, is a annoying as hell because the the witches were fucked up well it seems like basically the only reason is because she said well i was gonna let her leave though and it's like what does that have to do with the spooky ghost thing it's pathetic it's it's you're about to do that. it is dumb idiot it is what right uh, uh rags just said you you stab the person who's about to shoot you and then they say no look and then they hand them the gun that says healy gun 2000 but it looks like but it's got like spikes on it and like yeah and like he, a demon there's blood the just coming out of it all the time it, it really is like at every turn they have to go to the most evil route possible it's like okay so as soon as the jedi show up she immediately begins mentally torturing torben and then when the fight breaks out they're like you know what i know what we'll do let's possess the wookiee and make him fight his friends so that they have to deal with yeah. not only the horror of actually dealing with the fight but the anguish of having to make a decision on whether or not they're going 
going to kill their friend who's not at fault, who is totally like divorced from the situation because he's not even in control in order to defend themselves. And they say, and if you want to stop him and free his mind, you have to kill all of us. I'm sorry, that I yeah. agree with whoever said it at the time, but that was probably the most based part of the episode. Indara just fucking wipes them out for doing what mm-hmm. they did to her friend. Because as, as yeah. Fringe just laid out, they took one of them and turned them against them. So it's it's like you guys realize you forfeited all of your lives if to release him it costs you your lives. Like, of course I'll make that yes. decision. Why would you make the stakes this? Like, why would you? I do don't that? understand why they wrote it this way. If their goal is terrible, to... absolutely abysmal. And at any point in that conversation, Anasaya could have just said, "If Osha wants to go with you, she can go with you." Yep. And then they just leave, and that's it. That's all that it would have been. Bear in mind the information that Sol receives and when he receives it. The first thing he sees is that they get thrown to the ground, and then when he shows back up at the temple later on, he sees that Osha is in imminent danger. Every single time he's acting entirely to it's, try yeah, and protect it, them. I don't even know how much the writers realize what they've done when they establish that Sol knows that May and Osha are in danger slash Osha's about to burn to death. The writer's logic must just be, oh, we'll see, miscommunication. It's a terrible thing. And it's like, no, the absence a of, lack communication of communication from yeah. mm-hmm. specifically one side that then dramatically escalates things every single time. It's actually insane how badly Also, by the way, Indara up. did absolutely nothing wrong. She came in and stopped Kelnaka from being evil, which had the side effect of killing all the witches who were making him evil. That's all she did they in this whole thing. put themselves in that position. Yep. Remember in episode one where she's like, combat. Jedi attack the unarmed? Not true whatsoever based on this interaction set. Because they're obviously, no. she's obviously referencing Soul, but first of all, that wasn't Indara. And secondly, no, you are no, armed I mean, with magic that could make people kill, yeah, kill themselves spooky, and each other. You're a spooky ghost that can possess people. You know what's funny about uh, this is that um, they're stupid. The, uh, the, the witches, I know you guys know that already, but they what? What? have to cast a collective spell that can make them take over any individual Jedi. So what you obviously do because the Jedi have no fucking clue what's happening. You possess Kelnaka and make him kill himself. Then you possess Soul, make him kill himself, and then you get Torbin, make him kill himself. Like a yeah. Shang Tsung Mortal Kombat it's fatality. It's like the fastest <laughs> and easiest it, way to kill them all. It was so depressing that Wookiee fight too. It was pretty you bad, you yeah. finally have like a Wookiee and we've heard like the legends of Wookiee strength and how fierce and dangerous they are so many times and you don't show it at all you just make him really fucking slow and somehow these people are able to subdue them not with a fucking lightsaber with their bare hands i always wonder if it's not worth belaboring at this point but it kind of annoys me how much of a prop kelnaka is treated as like he doesn't do anything in the entire show he's not a character he's just he's a wookie he's like just translate what he's saying i guess the choreography was awful for the lightsaber fight and then his strength his raw strength was totally nerfed he should have been dominating he had them all dead like like three or four times each. By the way, this is my expectation for the way that Osha and May, who I think it's safe to assume have both essentially now seen this play out. This is the sense that I get for their reaction. May's going to be like, I understand it a bit more, but I'm still angry at you and you're still bad. And that Osha's going to be the Jedi are evil. So it's still <laughs> going to come away with both of them having a broadly negative view of the Jedi. Dude, That's what I think will happen. We give an hour assessment of events. I can't fucking wait to see the show show us what the characters yeah, have to assess Milo it on. Ren gonna is this one one Undone? I can't remember. Is this season like one and done? Or well, so they, make they were. It hasn't been, been renewed or anything. No, but they but... want more. Yeah, Leslie has talked about plans for a season two and further. I think the story's going to have its quote-unquote ending with the next episode, but it can always continue that sort of angle. How yeah. do they wrap it all up, though? No, I'm imagining we're going to get Sith-pilled Osha and well, so vaguely if... Jedi-pilled me. Yeah, genuinely, I have no idea, because I'm, I'm thinking just retarded, and I don't think that's enough. Like, I need to go further. It's yeah. like, oh, Sol just flies over to that planet, and he has a boss fight with Smiler Red, and May and Osha have to decide if they're going to save one or the other or something. I couldn't believe the audacity of them having Anasaya saying, someday the way you Jedi act will cause the destruction of every <laughs> Jedi in the galaxy. Bro, yeah, fuck like, off with they, this yeah, shit. Yeah, get stabbed well, so and die. The fact that she says your noble intentions will be the destruction of the Jedi is like, yeah, your ignoble intentions will be the destruction of your fucking cult. Is that seriously meant to be a case of the rider peering in going, ah, see, that's the reason why Palpatine won. It's like, oh, I thought it had to do with Palpatine manipulating the Republic in order to gain more and more power gradually <laughs> yeah, over yeah, the course of the decade. Literally a millennium of Sith 
waiting and, and you know, controlling <laughs> companies, controlling planets, starting little scuffles like here and there all across the galaxy, all leading up to a thousand years later, this plan to destroy the, the Jedi. Base window, but, base window should have yeah. been more tolerant of Palpatine's little hobby of just shooting electricity out of his fingers. I'm not kidding. Though. Look, she says it as some kind of realization when the cult have done way worse than the Jedi. They but do guess, way worse on the regular. Yeah. Like by existing. They, I love the indignance of you guys come to places and try to enforce your will through law. All we do is mind control people like this. We're way better than yeah. you. What are the Jedi supposed to do when they have the capacity to help people? They're familiar with the nature of the Force. They try to direct people away from doing dark side shit, like turning into a giant demon. And then you're like, well, yeah, but that's that's too controlling and now we have to kill you. What do you think they'll do in response? Something to bear in mind is that this pairs with the stuff that Smilo has been saying, right? His logic is essentially, the Jedi are intolerant of the Sith, which means I can kill them all. There's so many counters to this insane argument. Isn't the prime and counter, it, 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 your logic is that, so I guess now I can kill you too. For all of the dubious things the Jedi maybe do, which this show has not in any way portrayed, but... All those things that they supposedly do, because who the fuck knows if it's even canon at this point. Okay, fine, whatever. But other people, like the the Sith and the, the, the witches here, the stuff they do is way worse. This was so awful. Yeah. I'm how I, worse I'm, than I might have expected. This yeah, keeps it was happening. worse. I thought this was going to be the Jedi and bad episode, but they fucked it up so bad that this is Jedi like, no, good. totally in the clear, basically. Yeah, Jedi pretty pretty I okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cherry on top was that end credits music. Oh, oh my oh, god. I for I'd forgotten. Why did you... It would have been suitable to just have the fucking cantina uh, music at the end of this episode. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they play this it over the bottomless pit for the reverb. They worship they have the bottomless, bottomless pit. They do all of their dark sacrificial rituals at the bottomless pit. This is evil written all over it in every Absol language imaginable. I would imaginable. have easily Beware assumed they throw people down into the bottomless pit. Like... They feed the dark force god that lives at the center of the planet or something. Uh, that was awful. Episode one left. Woohoo. Good bye. lord, this story Incredible. needs to stop. End it! Anyway, bye! <laughs> bye, bye, everybody! End it like Torben. The enemy of the free people is defeated. What'd you bring me?